Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 25 of our trek and during this week we are looking at the 25 ways to turn failure into success. Yesterday we looked at stepping stones 11 through 15 and today we will continue on with 16 through 20. We will focus on five steps each day so that our wisdom nuggets will be easy to digest. We are recording our podcast from our studios in Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we are in the middle of a busy week, as I'm sure many of you are also. Something that we all need to make a habit of, especially when life is overwhelming and stress is mounting, is to pause and reflect on the blessings that we have. Take time to thank your friends, your family, and God for the wonderful aspects of your life. I realize that some days we will have difficulties and hardships where the storm clouds of life seem so dark, but always remember that the sun is always shining above those clouds. Maintain an attitude of gratitude, and those rays of sunlight will start piercing through the darkness. As we start our trek today, and looking at the benefits that failure brings to our life, imagine as we hike up the trail we see this thick covering of dark clouds. Those are the failures that we are experiencing in life. As we look at those failures for what they are, we will start seeing the sunbeams piercing through them, shining light on our otherwise dark trail. The more we realize and understand what we have learned from these failures, the brighter our days will become, until the clouds are insignificant in comparison. Yes, some clouds will remain, just as the consequences of our failures do, but they do not need to control our lives. So let's examine failure scenarios 16 through 20. Number 16. You are not a loser unless you accept your failure as final. Failure is the catalyst that allows us to make positive changes in our life, and that allows us to move on to something different, maybe even bigger and better. Failure pushes us just a little bit closer to the inevitable success. For in failure, we learn what won't work or what more needs to be done. Only when you quit trying is it real failure, since you give up hope for ever doing anything right again. So keep in mind, it doesn't matter how fast you run, what matters is how long you run. There may be many instances that knock you down on your journey. What makes you a winner is your ability to stand back up and run again. So think about it this way. Never lose your way. You are not a loser unless you accept it. So stepping stone number 16 is never look at failure as final. Number 17, it depends on how quickly you learn from failures. The consequences of failure will be determined on how quick you learn, how quick you grow, how fast you transform yourself into a new person, into the wonderful reflection of the beautiful creation that you really are. If you don't allow yourself to grow and to learn from your failures, you're doing a great disservice to yourself and to those that you impact who deserve to have the wonderful person that you are capable of becoming. So think of this. It doesn't matter how you fall. Think about how fast you can get back up. So stepping stone number 17 is learn quickly from your failures. Number 18, have positive attitudes toward challenges. Look at the failures and shortcomings in your life as refinement. As you move on and become more of the beautiful examples of what you can be, remember that failure is not the absence of success. Failure is the steps toward success. So your attitude toward challenges is the key to your happy life. Stepping stone number 18 is have a positive attitude even in failures. Number 19. Failures teach us to welcome changes. Change happens whether we want it to or not. We need to welcome change and find ways to turn unexpected failures into opportunities for growth. Do not become frightened and simply react. Instead, take action. How we handle the inevitable changes in life is the key of living life without fear. Or you might say, when life takes a U-turn toward failure, make the changes needed to turn towards success. So stepping stone number 19 is, welcome the changes that failure provides. And then number 20, failures teach us to be strong. Turning failure into success may not happen overnight. It rarely does. Realize that your spirit, mind, and body are all working together toward success. This will help you to stay focused and, in the end, become more successful. Picture yourself in the best scenario after you have succeeded in meeting this challenge. Believe it can happen. Always be strong, even when you're weak, because only the strong ones find strength in themselves. So stepping stone number 20 is, failure teaches us to be strong. Our practical lesson from the Bible today is a very interesting story. Let's set the scene taken from Judges chapter 6 and verse 1. The Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight, so the Lord handed them over to the Midianites for seven years. So in other words, the Israelites had failed on keeping God's commands not to worship other gods. To shorten the story a bit, the Midianites were whooping up on the Israelites. They stole their crops, their sheep, their goats, their cattle, and their donkeys. 
and the Israelites found themselves hiding out in caves to protect themselves. Finally, the Israelites realized that this was not fun. And in verses 7 and 8 it says, When they cried out to the Lord because of Midian, the Lord sent a prophet to the Israelites. So let's jump down and pick up the story in verses 11 through 16. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath a great tree at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of the clan of Abizir. Gideon, son of Joash, was threshing wheat on the bottom of the winepress to hide the grain from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Sir, Gideon replied, If the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? And where are the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say, The Lord brought us up out of Egypt, but now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to these Midianites. Then the Lord turned and said to him, Go with the strength that you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. But Lord, Gideon replied, How can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest of the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. The Lord said to him, I will be with you, and you will destroy the Midianites as if you were fighting against one man. So we see in today's story, when we are in the middle of hardships and failures, it's difficult to see how we are ever going to recover, especially if we feel we have to do it all on our own. Like Gideon, when failure strikes, we may feel weak and inadequate to overcome the issues. We need to draw on our own strength at times, but we must never lose sight of the fact that we can and should draw on the strength of others to help us through the difficult period and times where we have failed. Certainly as a follower of Christ and one who adheres to the teachings of the Scriptures, I also draw on the strength that God provides for my life. Tomorrow we will continue to build on this story that will show how Gideon was able to overcome not only his own failure, but the failure of an entire nation. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. Tomorrow, join us for the last five stepping stones, 21 through 25, on our journey to turn failure into success. We will explore how victory and success can be ours, even in the face of what appears to be insurmountable odds. So please check into our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. As always, I encourage you to leave a discussion topic, comment, suggestion, or question about the podcast on our Contact Us page of the website or email me at guthrieadventurecg.com. We'd love to have the interaction from members of the Wisdom Trek team. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to iTunes or the player of your choice so that Wisdom Trek will be downloaded to you automatically each day. We also have a subscribe to podcast page on wisdom-trek.com. And if you would, please leave us a rating on iTunes or Stitcher. This would mean so much to us and will help us to determine how we're doing and how we can improve. And spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you so much for being here today. And you can read our journal from today's podcast on wisdom-trek.com, where we also have wisdom nuggets and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always remember to live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. See you tomorrow.